the next topic which I am going to discuss is endobronchial biopsy. It is also done by a bronchoscopist pulmonologist. In the bronchoscopy room, usually under local anesthesia, there is 1 to 4 percent of lignocaine. Most of the patients better to give along with that injection fentanyl and midazolam also. And there should be a proper setting to monitor the heart rate, respiratory rate, BP and saturation. There should also be facility for the cardiopulmonary resuscitation, suction apparatus and a balloon catheter and a rigid bronchoscopy also should be better be available. Indication for this procedure are lesions or growth arising anywhere from the lower end of trachea subcarina to the fifth generation bronchi. In this procedure, the bronchoscope is passed through the nasal or oral route and biopsy forceps is passed through the working channel and biopsy is taken from the most suspicious area of the lesion and that is sent for the uh, analysis in the formalin sample. Usually 3 to 6 mm samples are enough, at least 3 to 4 samples should be enough to make a diagnosis. Coming to the contraindications for the procedure, patients should not be on any anticoagulants. In case of status asthmaticus, malignant arrhythmia, massive hemoptysis, recent myocardial infarction, patient is a psychiatric condition. In such conditions, we should not do endobronchial biopsy. Coming to the complications, two important dreaded complications are the massive bleeding which can happen in 1 to 6 percent of the patients and a pneumothorax. So these things should be kept in the mind and sufficient measures should be taken to handle this procedure in terms of the suction apparatus, eye saline, epinephrine, cardiopulmonary resuscitation apparatus, balloon catheter, rigid bronchoscopy and uh, ICD to manage a pneumothorax. Thank you.